Hello, my name's Martin Fish. 2023 marks 10 years of Cobra supplying gardening equipment in the UK. And as part of that celebration, they've introduced this range of cylinder mowers, the Fortis cylinder mower. There are several in the range, but we've got two of them here to look at today. And these are ideal where you want that manicured lawn, you want that lovely stripe and that well-cared fine turf in your garden. And as part of the package, there's this lawn care system that is available to purchase as well. And these are all interchangeable cartridges that go in where the cylinder would be on the mower, which means you can keep your lawn in absolutely perfect condition, just like a professional. So we've got things like the verticutter here, we've got the de-thatcher, we've got brushes that help lift the turf a little bit, we've got scarifier, we've got the grooved roller, ideal where you're doing that close cutting so it doesn't press the grass down too much. We've got the aerator with a 25 millimeter spike on it just for that surface aeration. We've also got the turf rake and the 10 bladed cylinder mower, again for that extra fine cut. So with this system here, you can keep your lawn in absolutely pristine condition all year round. So what we're gonna do is look at these a little bit more detail in a minute and I'll show you exactly how to change the cartridges. It's really simple to do, but beforehand, we're gonna have a look at the mower in a bit more detail, cut a bit of grass, and then we'll change the cartridges. So this is the Fortis 20B, which is a 20 inch cylinder mower. It's got six blades on there, so we'll give a really good cut on the lawn. And it's got a Briggs and Stratton engine, so lots of power. And these are really sturdy mowers. They're they really are, they're going to last a long time and make a fantastic job of mowing your lawn. It's got a steel front roller on there. Um, this is the height adjustment here, so you can lift the bottom blade up and down uh, from 6mm up to 30mm. And the back roller is cast and it's split with a differential, so you can twist the mower around when you're turning at the end of the row, so it stops that scuffing on there. And there is another piece of equipment here as well, um, this is the height setting bar and this is really useful where you want precision mowing. So although there's a good guide with this here for setting the, the cutting height, if you want it, it's an exact amount, 20, 22, 23 millimetres, then it's very simple to use this. We'll set it for around 20 millimetres. You wind in the bolt and then the little steel rule there we can use. I'm also going to put the nut on the bottom as well. We're measuring from the top of the bar to the underside. So we're 20 millimetres from there to the underside of the bolt. Okay, so then we can lock that into place with this little nut on the bottom. So what we're going to do now we've got that set at 20 millimetres is we've got the back roller here, we've got the front roller here, and we've got the bottom blade. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook the bottom of the bolt underneath there and it should just touch there and it should just touch there. If I hold it onto both of the rollers, we can see there is still a gap there. So what I need to do is take that off. We need to lift the bottom blade just a millimeter or so and then try it again. It's in contact with the back in contact with the front, but it's not too tight that the roller doesn't turn. So I now know that the gap between the, the soil level and the cutting edge there is exactly 20 millimeters. And then we can just take that off and try it at the other side. And this just tells us that it's cutting evenly along the length of the blade. And there it is, we can see that that is absolutely parallel to the ground at both sides of the mower. So it's a really good piece of equipment to make sure that you can adjust the mower height to exactly what you want. So controls at the top of the mower, very simple really. We've got two levers on the handlebar, the lever at the front, and it all tells you on the bar, so you can't get it wrong, is what engages the cylinders for cutting. Little tip is always rock the mower back onto the roller when you engage the cylinder. It just stops grass snagging between the bottom blade and the blades. Um, and then when we've got the cylinder going round, we push this lever in and that's the self portion and then we'll take it forward. We've got the throttle here. Down here, we've got the recoil. We've got the on and off switch. We've got the choke, it's the gray one. And that is the fuel on and off there. So really simple to start. So what we'll do is we'll put the grass box on a nice, big, sturdy grass box. It's got a handle there as well, which makes it easier to take on and off. And that simply hooks over those two little lugs there and we're ready for mowing. So let's start it. So 
choke on, switch it on, and away it should go. That's it, as easy as that. And just turn it off there with the switch. If you are using this on a, an incline and you're worried it might roll away when you take your grass box off, there is also a brake on this. So you might not use it that often, but it's there on this model. You just pull that in and that is now firmly fixed there. But remember to take it off before you start mowing again. So what we'll do now, we'll get the grass box off and we'll show you how to change the cartridges from a cylinder cutter to one of the other attachments. We're gonna use the scarifier there, which is a really popular one. And to make sure, we're gonna turn the, make sure the off button is there, and we've also turned the fuel off. So there's no way that this mower will now be started at all. You need a couple of tools to do this. These are provided with the tool kit. So first thing we do is we're going to take out the two screws here. So this is where all the belts are you can see everything is belt driven in there. So we're going to take out this bolt. There's a corresponding bolt at the other side and this one here. So what we're going to do is take this belt off as well and take that one off the bottom like that. And then the one at the other side. So now we've taken the bolts out, we can lift it out. So it's just going to lever out and almost tilt forward as we bring it out like that. And that is it. So that one can go there. We're going to put in the scarifier. So it basically just slots into position. Just tilt it out and there you can see that is now locked into position. So we can then put the three bolts back in to make sure that it's nice and secure. So we're going to put that one in. Little lug there that goes through there and then what we need to do is to put then the belt back on so we get it round the back like that so that's it that's how you would change the cassette so it just takes a few minutes of course you then adjust the height either with this or you've got the height setting bar to make sure that you've got the exact height and you can use it. So this is a scarifier, so what we'll do, we'll make little adjustments, we'll start the mower and we'll just do a little bit of scarifying to show you what it does. So you can see, we've only done this scarifying very, very lightly. The tines are only just touching the surface, but even then it's taken out some of the old grass. I don't think you can only scarify in the autumn and spring. You can still do it through the, the months when the grass is growing, spring and summer into early autumn. And what it does is just lift the grass, takes out any grass that's growing laterally in there. So that means that when you mow, it takes the long pieces off so you get a much better finish over a season. And it also prevents that buildup of thatch. So it's something you can do little and often. So what we'll do now is look at some of the other cartridges that fit into the mower. So just a quick look at the other cartridges. This is the six bladed cylinder that we took out. That's the standard. But if you've got a very fine lawn um, where you want a, a, a close cut, then this one has got 10 blades. So this will give more cuts per meter. So it's ideal if you've got very fine lawn and you'll get a wonderful finish. Then we've got here, we've got the D Thatcher. These blades go round. This is what you would use if you've got a buildup of thatch or moss in a lawn that hasn't been scarified for a long time. So this goes in a little bit deeper. You can make it just scratch the surface, but if the ground's soft, then you can go in a bit deeper and it will pull all that thatch that's built up in the base of the lawn over a period of time. Then we've got the aerator. So it's got the, the spikes on here. Best used when the ground is moist and these go in to this point, so 20 mil plus on there. So it's more surface 
aeration this is. So you could use it in the autumn if you've got a wet area or in the spring. It just gets some air down to those surface roots and helps the water drain down deeper into the soil. And then we've got the brush. This can be used for all sorts of things, a brush. Brushing the lawn, you know, gets rid of debris on the lawn. Uh, you can get rid of worm casts with it. If they're dry, this will brush them up so they don't smear on the surface of the lawn. Very fine leaves, pine needles, that type of thing. And it can also be used to enhance the stripes. Uh, it lifts the grass a little bit. So if you want a definite stripe, brushing over after mowing with this in the same direction as the stripes will enhance it. And then what we've got here, we've got the roller here, the grooved roller. The idea of this is, again, you would use this on a very fine lawn where you're mowing quite close doesn't contact the ground all over, only on the groove. So it doesn't flatten the grass before it's mown. So that's one you would probably use with the 10 bladed cylinder. And then we've got here the turf rake. And this fits behind the front roller, between the front roller and the blades. And it's designed so that it, as it goes through, it lifts the grass. Where you've got grass that grows out, like some of the creeping bents that are getting a little bit invasive, then it will lift them out a little bit and it will mean that the mower will then cut them up so it again builds that prevents that build up of thatch in the base of the lawn so these are all part of the turf care range so what we're going to do now we've put the verticut onto the mower so we'll just have a look at that and show you what that does when you use it what we've fitted in now is the verticut and you can see the blades on this unlike the cylinder these are going to cut vertically into the grass so as we pass over, and we haven't set it too deep, it's chopping down. So if you've got a lawn where you've got lots of coarse grasses in there, it will chop through them. And if you do this on a, a regular basis and alter the direction each time, then gradually it will weaken the coarse grasses and allow the finer grasses to fill in. And it also stops those spreading grasses from getting too invasive. So really good uh, piece of equipment to have to get your lawn into a good condition and keep it fine. So what we can do is put that on. It will throw a little bit up. Won't look a great deal different when we've done it, but we'll see lines through the grass as we have done. So let's give it a go. There you can see, so it has actually taken some grass off, but what it's done more importantly, so it's pulled some out, but it's made those little slots. Over time, if you've got one or two little risers in the lawn and you're trying to get it in better condition, it actually cuts into those, so they gradually settle out and over time you will get a much firmer, flatter lawn. So great piece of equipment to add to your mowing routine. So this is just one of the four mowers in the Fortis range, plus of course all these accessories that are interchangeable that will help to create a wonderful lawn in your garden. And for more information on the cylinder mowers and the lawn care calendar, visit cobagarden.co.uk.